Welcome back ladies and gents. I thought I'd introduce something very special to my YouTube channel. This special and unique element of my YouTube channel is a new playlist called Aim High. Now in the Aim High playlist, I'll be adding multiple videos of my work solutions to grade A questions and grade A star questions. If you could complete all the questions in the Aim High playlist, you'll have a very good chance of securing a high grade in the final exam. Here is the first video for the Aim High playlist. I've got a grade A question in front of me. Find the exact solution of the following simultaneous equations. So I've got equation one and equation two. The question is worth eight marks. Pause the video, have a go at the question and then play the video. Now to solve these simultaneous equations, we have to use the method of substitution. The first step is to make y the subject in equation one. I'll start off by writing equation one. So we have x plus e to the power y is equal to 1. I can take the x to the right hand side to give me e to the power y is equal to 1 minus x. Now to get rid of the e on the left hand side, I need to apply natural logarithms on both sides. So if I do this, I get ln e to the power y is equal to ln 1 minus x in brackets. Now ln is the inverse of e and vice versa. So the ln and e cancel, reducing the equation to y is equal to ln 1 minus x in brackets. I can call this equation, equation number 3. The next step is to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. Doing this gives me ln x plus 1 in brackets squared minus 2 lots of ln 1 minus x in brackets is equal to 2. Quick observation, ladies and gents. I've got 2 in front of the natural log here, and I've got a 2 over here. I can bring down this power 2 in front of the natural log using the power rule for natural logs. So if I do this, I get 2 ln x plus 1 in brackets minus 2 ln 1 minus x in brackets is equal to 2. Okay, I can simplify this equation by dividing the whole equation by 2. If I do this, I end up with ln x plus 1 in brackets minus ln 1 minus x in brackets is equal to 1. Another observation, ladies and gents. I've got a difference of two natural logs. I can combine the natural logs using the division rule for natural logs. So if I do this, I get ln in brackets x plus 1 over 1 minus x is equal to 1. Okay, now I can get rid of the ln on the left hand side by applying e's on both sides. Now e takes everything to its power. So if I do this, I get e to the power ln in brackets x plus 1 over 1 minus x is equal to e to the power 1. Now e to the power 1 is the same as writing e. And we know that on the left hand side, the e and ln cancel, reducing the equation to x plus 1 over 1 minus x is equal to e. I can multiply both sides of this equation by 1 minus x to give me x plus 1 is equal to e in bracket 1 minus x. What do I do next? Well, I can expand the right hand side. If I do this, I get e minus e lots of x. Now I need to take the x's to one side and the non-x's to the other side. So if I do this, I get x plus e lots of x is equal to e minus 1. The left hand side can be factorised. I can factor out an x and put in brackets 1 plus e is equal to e minus 1. Now I can make x the subject. If I do this, I get x is equal to e minus 1 over 1 plus e. So that there is the exact solution for x. Now I need to work out a solution for y. I can substitute x equal e minus 1 over 1 plus e into equation 3. So if I do this, I get y. y is equal to ln 1 minus e minus 1 over 1 plus e. So finally, I can just write down x is equal to e minus 1 over 1 plus e y is equal to ln 1 minus e minus 1 over 1 plus e.
There you go, that completes the question. Eight juicy marks in the exam, guys.